Hey everyone, welcome to part two of our, of our VBA XML series. Um, in this part, we are going to see how to add data to our XML file that we created in our first, well, previous tutorial. All right, this was the code we used last time, how to create an XML file. And this part is going to be our new code that we are going to use to add uh, data to our XML file. Let me show you this little representation. So once we're done, this should look like this. So we have a products uh, root element and inside our products, plural, this is singular. Inside our products, we have one product. Okay, with ID of one and name of orange. So we're adding a new product to our products list. You can imagine as, you know, as a list. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like when we are done. All right, so let's go over the code. All right, so this first line again, we are declaring variables. I have a doc variable, root variable, product variable, and product name, and product ID as object, and file path as string. Okay, and once again, we've seen this before, we're setting the uh, file path to our full path plus, including the uh, file name. So we are setting the file path to our file. Um, next, we are creating the object with the doc uh, variable. Okay. Once we create the object, we are calling the doc object to load this file that we set with the file path. So doc dot load the file path. And if you remember from our last tutorial, this was our file with the declaration line, which was automatically added and we just manually created this root element using our code up here okay all right all right so first we're loading the file once we load the file we're going to select this node this element to add data to it okay so first we're selecting this node by calling doc dot select single node and within parentheses open close parentheses open close double quotes and forward slash forward slash products that's how we select a single node okay so once we select our node once we select this node here we are going to create a new element, a child element. So this time we're going to use the product variable and create a name, uh, an element called product. Okay, so this one here. Let's look at this. So we're creating this element, this child element to products. Okay, once we create this element, we are telling the root which is our products, this one here, to add this new child. Okay? So this line adds the product child element to the root element of products. Okay? And once that's done, we're creating another element called ID. Okay? guy here so we create the element this time differently we are setting the value to set the value we're calling product ID dot text equals one okay and once we set the value we are calling the product which is this guy here so it's creating this two this element was created with open close tags and then 
we are saying the value with by saying product ID that text equals one and once that's done we are calling the product element to append this child okay so now this ID was added to this product next we're going to do the same thing with the name variable okay so product name I call this variable product name uh, product name prod name hold on a second I made a mistake I think uh, let me sh prod ID I guess doesn't declaration hmm yeah well I think we can still set a variable without declaring it so that's fine but anyway it looks better when it matches so we're setting the product name to doc.create element name so we create a new element called name and then we are setting the value to orange within double quotes notice orange is text so we have to and close with double codes okay but for in integer values you don't have to okay um, and once again we're telling the product to add this new child so it's going to add this guy here okay and once that's all done we are finally saving the file and we are done Okay, let's run this and see what happens okay no errors let's refresh this and there you have it beautiful okay so we had product one we added one product with an ID and name and values right that's it for now I'll see you in the next one take it easy